you grew up in Santa Monica. I did. And I guess you started doing some acting in high school, like high school plays and so forth? I couldn't do any high school plays because the first year of high school, uh, my little group of girls in the theater arts class were always getting in trouble. And two other girls did something. One girl was cheating off another girl. I had nothing to do with any of it. I just was part of the group. They got caught and they got fails and kicked out of the class. And myself and I think two other girls um, got D's in the class and were kicked out, not only out, kicked out of the class, but kicked out of theater arts for the rest of our stay at the high school. And we're not allowed to participate in any of the productions. And that was my first year there. And all I wanted to do was act. <laughs> yeah, so I couldn't even, it, we, we were in dance ensemble. We would dance in front of the whole school, but we weren't allowed to audition for Oklahoma to even be dancers. It was a drag. Okay, so did you do <laughs> any, any acting in high school at all? I didn't in high school. I mean, I, have got, I got involved in um, a local, the Santa Monica Playhouse, a local theater group, you know, and did, did helped them. But I didn't act with them. I just did stuff around, you know, you, you'd help. And my, um, uh, one of my friends and I also helped build sets for another local theater. And said we helped build sets and sew costumes and stuff, just kind of volunteering. And then I found when I was in high school, um, I found a a workshop. Um, maybe it was junior high school, an acting workshop. And we stumbled upon it, and it was actually an adult workshop. It wasn't just for little for young kids. And so it was very serious stuff. They were learning, you know, they were reading Uta Hagen and Stanislavski and. People were throwing things like cups at each other on stage. <laughs> it was very, it was very intense. But they let us stay in the class as long as we were very serious, and we were. And um, it was a, it, it was a great experience. I learned a lot, and that was my foundation. Was that experience? But I didn't start auditioning um, for theater or anything right away. It wasn't until mm, in my later teens, I think, and then I. You know, I started doing, I lived in California, so I started automatically going, mostly going out on television and film stuff because I was in LA, you know. If I were in New York, it probably would have been more theater, but there's, there was very little theater in LA at the time. You graduated high school, but yeah. you didn't go to college. No, I went to Santa Monica City College for a little while, uh -huh. and I, you know, I took acting there, I did that, um, but, uh, no, I, I pretty much started, I mean, I right after that I started auditioning, like I said, and I started getting work in commercials and small roles and TV shows, and I got a horror film, and I just started doing like, doing little things here and there, and, um, and I was, you know, I was really taking, I was very serious about, um, about uh, class and workshop, my workshop work. Okay, because you were in Death Spa, the movie. <laughs> that you're very correct on. Unfortunately, <laughs> yes. You can't even find a Wikipedia page on this on this movie. You can. You cannot. Oh, you can't. That's fine. That's that's all <laughs> I'm right. I'm happy with that. That's all right. Okay, so you're getting. I guess you're on the Bronx Zoo TV yeah. series. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ed and, Asner and a couple was other, on that. You, you had parts in other other TV series, and you know we did the the Death Spa movie. <laughs> but then you got an audition for the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Yeah, changed a lot. Was Quincy Jones involved in all the early stages? Yeah, I had to audition for him, and um, okay. I recently found my my day planner that said, you know, when I had to audition for Quincy Jones because I was so excited and nervous and ex excited, and he was the most fun person to audition for because he doesn't. Um, you know, he's not trying to be, what, you know, quiet or, he just, he just like slaps the table and laughs and throws his head back and he's just very relaxed and it's nice to feel like Quincy Jones is laughing at what you want him to laugh at. Oh yeah, no, I just met Quincy Jones for the first time. Uh, oh yeah? A couple weeks ago at a party and, uh, you know, along with his, you know, I knew, I know his son, QD3. Oh yeah, yeah. We were, me and his son were talking about how, how Quincy Jones was the flyest guy in the room at like 80 or 90 years yep. old. Like, yep. 
he had his outfit was so on point that it, just, <laughs> it, it made no sense. Like, yeah, he's great. He's going mean, to talk about legends. That's a legend. Right, because by the time he did Fresh Prince, he had already done Thriller, oh, Off he, the Wall, yeah. Bad. And a lot before that, yeah. And a lot before that. Yeah, yeah. Th this is one of these absolute geniuses of yeah. a generation that you just don't see very often. No, I remember even when um, Oprah Winfrey, uh, we, we had Oprah Winfrey was on The Fresh Prince, and she was like a little girl around Quincy. They had, you know, she, she adored him. And he was so sweet with her, and because um, they had, you know, worked together before, and she was just like like a little kid, like with her. I remember she was sitting on something, and her legs were like swinging, and she's talking to him, and it was like a little kid. It was really sweet to see this a very powerful woman um, look to him like that. It was nice. Absolutely. So you go and audition for the Fresh Prince. What was that audition like, and what was the process involved in it? It was long. It was long. Um, like I said, I found that day planner recently, and I was not wrong in my memory. It was, I, aud I had to audition for, um, I auditioned so many times, I had to audition for the assistant to the casting director, and then I had to go in and audition for the casting director, and then I had to audition for, um, I think, the writers, and then I had to audition for maybe Quincy Jones, and then I had to audition for the, the, um, the writers and producer. And then I had to audition for, I think, the studio. And then I had to audition for the network. I just had so many auditions. I had to keep going and going and going. And um, it was great. It was, it was interesting. The last experience, when you go and audition for the network, it's always really interesting because um, they're, that's the last audition. And so it's you and the other girl that's auditioning for the part opposite you. And you kind of, you know, and then there's, you know, two Uncle Phil's and there's two Aunt Viv's and, you know, this whole thing. And so uh, it's kind of nerve wracking for everybody. because <laughs> You see everybody, how it's gonna come down to the wire. And, you know, it's hard not to look at the other girl and go, oh, look at her, I should have wore that. And I should have done this and she's right for it. And start to, you know, mess with your mind. So you and the other Hillary had to basically have a fight to the death to, to get that role. <laughs> and she's a really nice girl. She's a really nice girl. I, but she had done she had done some stuff that I knew that was very. She had done like a big film, and and so I was very intimidated <laughs> by her presence. And she's really beautiful. So, uh, but I, I for it was fortunate. How did you feel when you finally got it? Oh my God! I mean, that was unreal. That was. Unreal. And it, it always felt really good when you go in. Um, they were such a there's such a great group of people, and I'm still in touch with so many of the people, like Andy Borowitz and Susan Borowitz, who um, created it. And I mean, I I still you know see them, and and it always felt good. They were and I you know that went into when we started doing the show and meeting this great cast and having wonderful chemistry and all of that being good. It was just such a good experience throughout. But um, getting that no notice, that word, I remember I, I was working as a hostess um, at a restaurant called Delmonico's in LA. And um, I got the word on the phone. When I just showed up, I was at work and I got the notice and I had to stay there at work, kind of was like going out of my skin, going crazy because I had just got this show. And then my boss, a friend of mine came in just out of, the blue, she just kind of walked in to say hi and visit. And my boss was like, get out of here, go hang out, celebrate, you know, and kicked me out. So that was good. 